Well, we're talking about the Great Salt Lake and the focal point of a plan to keep it healthy. We're going to go to Kate Gardner now from the Salt Lake to tell us more about this. While the lake is the focal point of the plan, the plan isn't necessarily just about the lake. Nearly 3 million Utahns live within the basin that feeds water to the lake. And so the plan helps ensure that both Utahns and the lake have access to the crucial water they need. This is the end point for water sources in the Great Salt Lake Water Basin. This map from the United States Geological Survey shows just how massive the basin is. And this map from the Utah Division of Water Resources shows that within the basin, there are five sub-basins. Bear River, Weber River, Jordan River, Utah Lake, and West Desert. And each one of those basins has a particular way that they measure water. There isn't one uniform way that we all look at water together um, in the same amount of detail. Laura Vernon says the Great Salt Lake Basin Integrated Plan, or GSLBIP, will change that by mapping water sources across the 34,000 square mile area. We need to better understand how much water we're dealing with in the system. And we can't manage what we can't measure, so that's what this project intends to do. To do this, all hands are on deck. Commitments from the federal government, state government, we have partners from industry, environmental organizations, uh, con water conservancy districts, um, canal companies. Partners like the Jordan River Commission. Utah Lake's at compromise level, and so there's a lot of water flowing, and we haven't even really started the spring runoff yet. Soren Simonson says while his heart is happy to see lake levels up, he knows now is the time to look to the future. We have to be vigilant because there's a lot more work that has to happen to put those policies into practice to really create long-term health and sustainability for the lake. Vernon says the plan will do just that. Measuring all water sources will help to improve how water is managed in rivers and reservoirs across the basin as part of the 30-year Great Salt Lake strategic plan. We know that while we could have a few good years, there's no way to anticipate that we would ever be out of the woods and not have low-level situations again. Another reason the state is implementing this plan is because even though drought years and wet years come and go, one thing is certain, the population in Utah continues to grow. And so they need to make sure that Utahns and the lake have access to the water they need for the next few decades. Reporting from Great Salt Lake, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.